I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice sheet for you to describe the decimal numbers using words. The numbers given to you are 5 5.3, 0.2, 3.01, 12.001, 50.07, 3.123, 2.54, 6.302. I'd like you to pause the video, describe these numbers and then look into my suggestion. I'll help you describe these words in two different ways. One is the standard way where we use AND for the decimal point. So for the first one, when it is 5.3, we can write this as 5 AND 3 tenths as 3 is in tenths position. So we have to see where the number ends and that position comes here whenever you're working with decimal numbers. Now the second one is 0.2 could be written as 2 tenths. There is no need to write 0, so here we can write this as 2 tenths. And this time 3.01 0 is ending in hundredth position, ones and tenths hundredths position. And therefore, this is written as 3 and 10 hundredths because 0 ends in hundredths position. Now we have 1 which is ending in thousands position. So this should be written as what? 12 and 1000. Similarly, you can write the rest of them. I think the process is clear to you. Which is 50 and 700. 3 and 123,000, 2 and 54 hundredths, 6 and 302 thousandths, right, since this ends in thousandths position. Now, let me show you another way of writing the same numbers. Instead of using and, we can write the whole number as tenths, 5.3. You can write 5.3 as 53 over 10, right? That gives you an idea. And I can also write this number as 53 tenths. So that's an alternate way of describing this number. Do you understand? Well, it is only 2 tenths, so that's good enough. 2 tenths. 3 this is 3 and 10 hundredths. I could write this as 310 hundredths, right? So I can describe this as 310 over 100, you see? So I can write this as 310 hundredths. Similarly, I can write this as 12,000, 1,000, do you see that? So like this, we can actually rewrite these numbers in different ways. Let me write this one. 50 and 700. Think about it like 50, 0, 7 over 100, correct? So you can describe this as 5,000 7 hundredths. So that's an alternate way of describing the same numbers. Why am I telling you this? At times, when you have to write the numbers from when they're given in words, we can use this way of writing and then it may become difficult for you, correct? Now let me write 254 for you. 2.54 or 2 and 54 hundredths could be written as 254 over 100. So I can say this as 200 54 
What? Hundreds. I hope you understand and appreciate this alternate way of writing the same thing. Normally, you should only replace decimal with and and write your numbers as we wrote initially. But it's good to know how we can write it in a different way also. I hope you learn from it. Thank you and all the best.